Hi, I'm Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist. Today I'm going to teach you the cuddle position, best seat in the house. For the cuddle position, best seat in the house, one partner is going to be laying down on their side, the other partner is going to be sitting up. Once your cuddle partner is comfortable where they're at, go ahead, sit right in front of them. You can toss an arm over and they can come and squeeze you. This is a great position for head scratches and just leaning back and relaxing. It really is the best seat in the house. Like and follow for all of my cuddle demos and comment and tell me your favorite. Hi, I'm Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist. Today I'm going to teach you the cuddle position called the windmill. In the windmill, you'll also be laying on your back along with your cuddle partner, but you'll be facing opposite directions. It looks like this. I love being able to put my head on my cuddle partner's shoulder. It also opens up an opportunity for hug hugs. People of varying body sizes or who overheat easily love this. Like and follow for more cuddle positions. In the windmill, and you and your my dog decided to crush my cuddle video. Hi, I'm Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist. Today I'm going to teach you the cuddle position, the stargazer. In the stargazer, you're going to lay side by side with your cuddle partner. You can have as much or as little cuddle contact as you want. I often like to cross arms and possibly cross legs and then just look at the stars. Like and follow for more cuddle positions. Hi, I'm Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist and this is Faye and I'm also a cuddle therapist. We're going to teach you a new cuddle position today. This cuddle position is called story, story time. time. <laughs> All right, I will sit with my back supported and I'll typically put a pillow on my lap because you are going to lay down either on your side or your back and put your head right here. Like this? Exactly right. This position is excellent for all different kinds of connection. You can do head scratches, arm strokes, back scratches. What sounds good? Give me all of it, please. All of it? Okay. <laughs> it's also great if you want to hold hands. It can be intimate and it can also be very nurturing. I love this position with um, clients who are wanting to have a story read to them or that feeling. That's why it's called story time. You can like and follow for more positions and don't forget to check out Faye. She's pretty amazing. Hi, I'm Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist. Today I'm going to teach you the cuddle position called puzzle pieces. In the cuddle position puzzle pieces, one cuddle partner is going to be laying on their back. The other cuddle partner will be on their side. The one that's on their side is going to tuck your knees up under the knees of the person on their back, just like this. Up top, normal hug. I can put my arm underneath my cuddle partner's head. They can put their arm around my waist. We can snuggle. This is a really great position for the person who's on their back to feel really secure, safe, and held. Like and follow for all of my cuddle demos and comment and tell me your favorite. Hi, I'm Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist. Me and Jeremy Beeramy here. We're going to teach you another cuddle position. This position is called the lap of luxury. You want to sit with your back supported, legs out. Invite your cuddle partner to come sit here, but scooch down a little bit. So like this, lay down with your head kind of on your knee thigh area. The underarm is going to come under their knee and this arm can go over top. They're hugging your leg. This gives a great opportunity to play with hair, scratch the scalp, and give nice back rubs. In this position, you can also place a pillow on your lap if that's more comfortable for you. Tell me in the comments what's your favorite cuddle position that you want me to demo. Like and follow for all my other cuddle positions. Hi, I'm Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist. And today, me and Jeremy Barrymy here, we're going to teach you the cuddle position, Gemini. In the cuddle position Gemini, you and your cuddle partner are both going to be on their side and you'll end up stacking your legs. One will be on bottom, next leg, their leg, your leg. Up top, it's whatever's comfortable in terms of a hug position. I will put my arm underneath Jeremy Barry's head. We can hug, go forehead to forehead or any other like chit chat position up at top. This is the cuddle position called Gemini. 
like and follow for all of my cuddle demos and comment and tell me your favorite. Hi, my name's Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist and I'm gonna teach you the cuddle position called back to back. In this position, you'll sit cross-legged or however is comfortable for you and your partner will do the same. You can lean back to back. Uh, what I love to do is let rest my head on their shoulder or you can lock arms, which can be really, really fun and bonus yoga stretch if you pull one way or another, you actually get a really nice stretch. It's a very fun position. One of my favorite things about this position is how accessible it is. People of widely varying body types can enjoy it. People who have discomfort with eye contact, they can enjoy it too. It's also not as intimate, so friends, family members, people of varying ages, they all can access this cuddle position and you still get quite a bit of body contact. Like and follow for more cuddle positions. Hi, I'm Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist. Today I'm going to teach you a cuddle position called Heartbeat. In the position of the Heartbeat, one cuddle partner will be sitting normally, comfortably on a couch. The other partner gets set up facing the wall. I'll show you how to get into that position now. Sit here next to your partner with your legs facing out. This arm comes around the waist and goes underneath the arm. This arm is over the shoulder, leaving your ear pressed against their heartbeat. Your cuddle partner can put their arm around you here and then leaves this arm open for head scratches and back rubs. Like and follow for all of my cuddle demos and comment and tell me your favorite. Hi, my name's Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist. Me and Jeremy bear me here. We got another cuddle position for you. This position is called the hug boat. You're going to invite your cuddle partner to come lay their head on your chest. This arm, the back arm of your cuddle partner is going to go around your back as they position themselves on their side. So this arm comes around my back, their head comes right here, and then we kind of interlock legs. Their leg comes out, my leg goes over. This arm can come around and hug here too. Um, and although this is a bear, <laughs> uh, this is a really often very comfortable position. It can be fairly intimate, but it can also be very sweet and nurturing as well. Like and follow for all my other cuddle positions. Hi, I'm Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist. Today, me and Jeremy Barry me are going to teach you the cuddle position called the anchor. In the anchor, one cuddle partner is going to be sitting up and the other cuddle partner is going to be laying face down. I'm going to have Jeremy get into a face down position. This partner can have their head turned to the side often or laying on their hands propped up. And then I, being the anchor, will toss my legs gently over my cuddle partner's back with a bent knee. Check in with your partner, make sure this isn't uncomfortable on their back. And this is a great position if they want to watch TV and you want to read a book. Like and follow for more cuddle positions. My name is Keely and I'm a cuddle therapist and this is... I'm Dr. Yoni Alkin. I'm a sexual educator and professional cuddler. So I have a question for you today. What's your favorite cuddle position? Oh, I go for the classics. I like it when people put their head on my chest. Ooh, may I try it? Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's do it. Mm, that way I can play with your hair. Okay, now this is real cozy. This is a perfect classic. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist. Me and Jeremy Bear me here. We got another cuddle position to teach you. This position's called the koala. There are two points in the position. I'll be the tree in this scenario. Jeremy Barry is gonna be the koala. The tree lays back nice and cozy. You invite your koala to come lay on their side next to you with their head on your shoulder, their arm around your waist. Come here, Jeremy. Head on my shoulder, arm around my waist. The koala can also put the top leg over my leg in a really nice, comfy, cozy position. Now we'll reverse positions. I'll be the koala, Jeremy will be the tree. Put my head on Jeremy's shoulder, arm around his waist, leg over leg, and hug. This back arm can go either under his head, or if I tilt my shoulders down a little bit, it can come around my back, nice and comfortably back here. Like and follow for more cuddle positions. Hey, I'm Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist. Today I'm gonna teach you the pancake. In the pancake position, one cuddle partner is going to be laying comfortably on their stomach. 
the other will gently position yourself on top of the first cuddle partner. You want to communicate about whether or not this amount of pressure is okay. If it's a little too much pressure, just take your leg over and slide off and be the syrup to the pancake so that you're still slightly supporting yourself. Your arm can either go around or come up under the arm to unlock fingers. Like and follow for all of my cuddle demos and comment and tell me your favorite. Hi, my name's Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist and today I'm going to teach you the cuddle position called the pretzel. In the pretzel, you'll be sitting face to face. Have one partner, often with your back supported, sit comfortably with your legs slightly wide. Invite your cuddle partner to sit right here and they're gonna put their legs over top of yours. So let me show you. Come on, Jeremy. Sit right here, leg over top, leg over top, and it'll end up being crisscross like a pretzel. One thing I love to do in this position is go forehead to forehead. It's really, really sweet and can be more intimate, so just monitor your comfort level. This is what it looks like. Like and follow for more cuddle positions. I get asked often about two-person cuddle positions. That's why I have my cuddle demos out there. And I also want to say that there is way more configurations than just two-person cuddle positions. It can be an entire cuddle cool Look at the bliss on that face. Ah! <laughs> Cuddling is not just a paired activity. It can be a group activity too. Enjoy your cuddles. Hi, I'm Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist and me and Jeremy Baramy are gonna teach you the cuddle position sardines. In the cuddle position sardines, you and your cuddle partner are going to be laying on your sides head to foot. I often recommend, depending on height, you're gonna have your cuddle partner put their arm underneath calf, knee, or thigh, again, depending on height, and their head will either go shin, inside of the knee, or the thigh. So this will position like this. They can hug a leg. This is great for foot rubs, and I'll do the same. Lean back, grab a foot, give a hug. Like and follow for all of my cuddle demos, and comment and tell me your favorite. Hi, I'm Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist. Me and Jeremy Bear me here. We're gonna teach you some cuddle positions. This first position is called the mama bear. One person sits in back, one person sits in front. You can lean back on your mama bear. I would be the baby bear in this scenario. The mama bear can put their arms around for a nice big hug. Also the person in back can use their legs to squeeze in for a nice big hug. And then I get to just relax. In this position, I'm gonna be in back and my friend Jeremy is gonna be sitting in front. So I'd invite my cuddle partner to come sit in front of me, get nice and cozy, rest their head up against my shoulder, and then I get to wrap my arms around them for a big bear hug, or I can even wrap my legs around and squeeze nice and tight. It's really, really cozy. 